congratulations to Mediama SC. They have become the first team in the Western region to win the Ghana Premier League. They did that beating Tamale City uh, 3-0 at the Akun Park. How to Folk survived uh, a King Faisal, unfortunately. Tamale City, unfortunate, and Kotoku Royals are out of the Ghana Premier League. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, coach Chris Uting. He has commented on why they are no locally based players in the national team. After visiting league centers, many of the opinion that at least one local player would make the cut for the national team. He's explained why. We're also going to talk about the final team and the changes that have been made by the Black Stars head coach. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. We'll jump right into it and uh, we'll start off from the front of coach Chris Huting. Uh, the Ghana Black Stars uh, coach has called up 24 players initially. Unfortunately, injuries have come into play. After a long and arduous season, it's expected players got injured and uh, unfortunately or fortunately some of them are out. Inyaki Williams on Monday declared he cannot play because he has a niggling knee injury which will keep him out and he has to uh, recover and get it fixed. Also the latest on Friday to get knocked out of the team was Charles Bergman in Alexander Juku a stalwart at the back for Ghana. Kasim Nuhu Adams has been called in to replace him. Uh, but the latest before I go into that is that uh, Coach Silting has explained why there are no locally based players in the Ghana Black Stars team. Uh, the Black Stars coach has shed light on his decision to leave out local players from the recent call-ups. Now, despite attending Ghana Premier League matches, Hilton has not included any local players in the two squads he has named for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers, which has raised questions, especially in light of the absence of some key players due to injuries. In a video posted on social media, Hilton addressed the issue and emphasized the importance of maintaining a balanced and consistent approach with the current squad. However, he's also expressed his openness to considering local players in the future. Now, during his time in Ghana, Hilton has made an effort to observe most of the teams and gain a comprehensive understanding of the league's level and standout players. He believes that it's crucial to assess the overall picture rather than society focusing on individual players. In the period of time I've been around, I've seen most of the teams, probably at this stage. It's about getting a feel of the league. Chris Hilton is playing, the level of the league, the pl better players, trying to get the whole picture as opposed to just some individuals. In this process, when we come up with the individual players, the balance is always what I have in mind. Hilton acknowledged that finding the right balance is currently a priority, taking into account the consistency of his squad and the presence of many players based in Europe, some of whom haven't been playing regularly. He aims to strike the right balance while considering all the factors at play. At this moment, we are trying to find the right balance of keeping the consistency of what we've had. We, of course, have a lot of players in Europe, and there are also a lot of players in Europe who haven't played. So it's just for me to try and get this balance. The upcoming match against Madagascar is on June 18th, and I think uh, the reasons given here are sound. Needs to find the right balance in the team. He's getting a feel of the whole league rather than looking at individual players to call into the national team. And in my opinion, that makes sense. I don't know about you, but let me know what you think on Chris Hutton's explanation for not including locally placed players in the national team. As I said at the start, Kasim Nuhu Adams has come in to replace Alexander Juku who suffered an injury in his league final final league game in the French league and for Strasbourg. He has been ruled out and will not play in the uh, qualifiers versus Madagascar. Tomorrow, the boys will have their very first training session in Accra here. They'll be training for four days before flying out of the country into Madagascar and Tananarivo for that game this coming Sunday. It will be interesting to see how things go. There will be other matches lined up there. Nigeria will be playing Sierra Leone. So many top games are lined up for the weekend. But my next story has to do with Joseph Painso, 
who has touted the English Premier League as one of the best in Europe, after reports of him uh, getting interest from those leagues. The Ghana International has rated the English Premier League ahead of various leagues. Painto, who enjoyed a decent campaign in Genk, it just ended in Belgium, a football campaign, has emerged as a transfer target to several clubs in Europe, with England no exception. In an interview, the Black Stars winger uh, reiterated that his desire to play in England, saying it's the best league. Every professional footballer would love to play in the English Premier League. That's the best competition in Europe. I'll be looking forward to being taken and representing any of the teams in England, he said. But it's football and this is the duty of the agent. For me, I've already done what I'm supposed to do. So I'll just leave it to the agent and the club to decide. I'll be really happy if teams in England approach and take my best moment. And I also show the world in England that I'm capable of giving 100% commitment to, watch, to whichever club I join. Painto scored 18 goals. 14 assists across all competitions in Europe. Well, Kasim Nuhu Adams is the latest to join the Black Stars team who will be camping tomorrow. The 27 year old will step in to fill the void by Jiku, who lost his place due to an injury on 21st May. In a statement to confirm the news, the FA Ru Kasim has been called to replace Alexander Jiku. Jiku's absence presents an opportunity for Nuhu Adams to demonstrate his skills and represent uh, contribute to Ghana's campaign in the AFCON qualifiers. Ghana currently top of the group and we'll be hoping to secure qualification to Cote d'Ivoire 2023 with a win over Madagascar. We wish the boys the very, very best on that front. Rasford Yebwak on his Dofa has said he wants to be like a Samwajan, a player a lot of people look up to especially those coming in to play for the Ghana Black Stars. Connes Doffa will be at the AFCON under 23 and will be with Ghana versus Madagascar as well. So that has been it for today. Chris Hitting explaining why he has no locally based players in the Ghana national team for the Madagascar game. Yebwa Connes Doffa, adulation uh, for uh, Samoa Jan. I've also been talking about uh, the Ghana Black Stars players who will miss out uh, Inyaki and the latest Strasbourg man Alexander Jukwe Stowet at the back. Kasim Adams filled the void. Also, and uh, Kenk man has expressed his interest in the Premier League. But up to him, it's not his agent. We'll deal with that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.